Well, I have absolutely nothing profound to say today. So <laughs> I, um, yeah, I have, uh, it's, it's, um, I've been thinking about it and I, I just, I have nothing. So this is what I'm going to say. Take a moment and find a bit of joy in whatever that might be. For me today, my bit of joy this morning was my husband bought me a new teapot, a teapot. Um, this fall, I've just really been enjoying just sitting and drinking tea out of my, I've gotten some teacups and it's just kind of fun to drink tea out of a teacup. It makes me feel fancy and it brings me some joy. So um, in the midst of a really crazy world. It's not profound. And yet, sometimes the things that bring us the most joy aren't. So that is what I have for you today. And um, let us join in some community prayer. Heavenly God, we give you thanks for the joy that we can and will find in the small and little things of each and every day. As this weather has turned, we ask you to be with those who commute, those who have to drive through it, keep them safe. Watch over those who keep our roads clean, those who drive the plows and salt the roads. Keep them also safe this day and throughout this season. We lift to you today, many in our community. We continue to pray for Alex and Ashley, for Corey and Pam, for Nancy and David. We lift to you, Holly and Heidi and Jan's whole family, as so many of them have been positively diagnosed with COVID. that they are able to get the treatment that will bring their bodies back to health. We pray for all those who are affected by this disease, whether in vocation or in body and spirit. And we pray for the families of the two boys in Kenyan who were in that horrible car accident. We continue to hold them as the body of Christ, helping them walk these terrible, terrible days. There is a great deal of pain in this world and there are moments of joy. Let us not turn from either let us be your people in the midst of both. In your most holy and gracious name, amen. Have a lovely, lovely Thursday. Peace.